Hey, good Sunday morning everybody. This is Organic Dairyman. Today is April 14th and uh, yeah, welcome to my channel today. Uh, today, um, well, it's Sunday obviously and uh, the sun is shining and uh, I'm just ready to, to go out and start milking the cows here. But before I go milk cows, I just wanted to show you something here first with the hay grinder. Um, we did not get that sprocket that I ordered, but um, well, my my cousin, well, he called yesterday. The cousin that owns the tractor, not the one that owns the hay grinder, he called and said that he had a sprocket. I, I don't know if it's a new one, if it's a, or what exactly it is, but anyways, um, it looks like, I think it's a little bit used. It's looks like it's a used one. It's not um, brand new, but anyways, uh, we put that on there. I got to finish putting the chain on there yet. Um, we're going to try that one. Um, but uh, he wants, of course, my cousin, the cousin owns the tractor. He wants to grind some hay today, so we need to to uh, use it. But anyways, um, I didn't think that he had one, but um, I didn't think that any of my cousins had one. I guess I probably should have checked with them first, but... I don't know. Like I say, that sprocket ain't new, so I don't know. We still might put that new one on there when we get it later on, but, um, so anyway, that's kind of what we're doing here today. Um, so we gotta, <clears throat> I gotta finish that up here sometime here this morning. We gotta grind some more hay yet, and then, um, and then he wants it this afternoon, so that's what we gotta do here today is get this job done, and then, um, He's gonna take it and grind some hay sometime this afternoon because that's what he, he wants. So we gotta get this uh we gotta just finish that up and we gotta try it out and hopefully that chain will stand there. I hope we got the sprockets lined up. I mean I got them as close as you know, we're close as we could get them. We'll, we'll try it and see. So anyways, um, yeah, that's kind of what we got going on here today. What I'm gonna deal with that and I think I might have to grind the batch of feed for the cows here today too. We might, I don't know. I don't know. I have to see how much we have left on the feed grinder. So, yeah. So, anyways, um, we got down to 16 last night and the ground froze. <clears throat> oh, the mud froze, I should say. So, um, yeah. But we're supposed to get up to 39, something like right now. And, uh, or today it's supposed to get up to 39, then tomorrow 40 something. And uh, I can tell the wind is blowing out of the south this morning, or southeast, because our lovely, lovely neighbors, corporate neighbors to the southeast of us, their nice, lovely hog facility, is uh, <clears throat> stinking up the neighborhood right now. So we have this wonderful aroma that we're smelling this morning. So, <laughs> anyways, um, we better get the cows milked. I guess you better hurry up and get this cow milk. Right here, she's leaking out milk already, so uh, she has a, uh, <laughs> she's got a full udder and she's uh, leaking out a little bit of milk. We don't want to waste good milk. chain on here yet so that I can grind it and that's kind of what I'm waiting for but just wanted to uh I just wanted to get the tractor started up and get warmed up while I get this chain on here and uh, oh man tight quarters dude uh, I tried doing this last night here Get it so I get it better. Oh, come on. 
try to get the connector link in here. I should I should really put it in a different spot to do this, but come on, you know, horse. the connector link in there I just got to put the snap oh. Oh, sorry. Oh. I just got to put the, this on there and that and it should be good to go we can go grind some hay and we'll see if it works Okay, um, well, as you can see, I just tried turning it on and I can't get it to go, but I think that this auger over here is the problem. I think it's kind of plugged. Um, yes, the flighting on these augers is wore down an awful lot. It should probably be at least that much taller on there. And they need to be these augers, really, the flighting needs to be replaced. Doesn't necessarily mean the augers do, but the flighting can be replaced. But I think this one over here is plugged. Um, what's going on is when I turn it on, the chain, the chain um, is, is obviously still on there and everything. But this belt here starts slipping. This belt needs to be replaced. Um, I don't know. They, this one is twisted, and I don't know. Unless I could get them tighter, but I don't know. I'm going to have to take off this access cover here and uh, see if I can. I don't know. I don't seem like it's too bad in here. But uh, I'm going to try to get that cleaned out here and hopefully we'll get to work. This belt here is just not tight enough. I don't know, I thought about trying to replace these. They'd have to run to the auto parts store. I know they're open till, I think they're open till like 2.30 or something this afternoon. So a guy could get some new belts maybe if they had some on hand. But um, I got a block of wood right here and I'm gonna use this pry bar here. And I'm gonna see if I can get this thing as tight as I can get it I hope I can but that's the uh, that's the plan anyways but I need both hands to do it too so but you guys get the idea so if I get it next video segment will be a me grinding hay <laughs> See what happens. Oops. I don't know if 
check what happened. I gotta get out and check. The chain came off again. It uh, wrapped up around here again. Luckily, I didn't have it on for very long. Um, I don't know, but I think what's happening here is uh, that sprocket right there is sticking out not sticking out far enough so I'm gonna have to take that sprocket off and throw some washes behind there to extend out because it's not lining up with the other the other sprockets on here and I think that's what's throwing that thing off but you know I don't know I'm almost positive I think that's what the deal is but uh, it's hard to it's hard to, to know I mean pretty sure they're lined up I just don't know unless something else is out of whack on here but you know it's a possibility that one of these shafts auger shafts could have a, a wobble in it or something you know but that that sprocket there does not look like it's lined up straight with these other ones and I don't know why you can see that look close enough maybe you guys can't see that in camera but I could see that one up there that uh, idler sprocket or the tightener sprocket it's not lined up <sighs> I don't know why oh I'm gonna have to bring it back up in the yard and investigate some more <laughs> I don't know okay uh, I looked at this thing a little closer off camera again or before I came back up to the yard and I found out what the problem is with this thing what the problem is this I can't see it right there just, that that tightener sprocket is on a is mounted to a piece of angle iron that piece of angle iron is bent out so I need to bend it back in the other problem is that other sprocket right over there for the auger on the other side um, it's actually is wobbling or it's out of alignment and it's out of alignment because if I show you back here see how this auger is tipped up since that auger is tipped up that means the end of the shaft is is tipped down a little bit and so that's taking the auger out of or the sprocket on the other side it has taken it out of alignment so if I can if I can get that auger to come down then that sprocket over there will line up with the sprocket there and if I could bend that angle iron in then that will line up with the sprocket over here so it's the combination of those two things that are causing the chain to keep coming off so I gotta get that done and my cousin he just called me a little bit ago and he's getting antsy to get the hay grinder but you know all I can do is I, I can't do anything until I get this big skinny thing fixed he can't grind hay and I can't grind hay until I get this done so I guess he's just gonna have to be patient so it is what it is so I'm gonna get to work and get this thing fixed hopefully the right way this time okay I cross my fingers. I hope this time it's gonna work. I got everything back together. I got the auger cleaned out back there in the back of the thing. So hopefully everything should be straight. So let's see what happens. It's worth 
working. That chain there is jumping. here it's his direction of rotation that's what the deal with the had it running backwards not yeah I think that's the way it's supposed to go I don't know Pretty sure it's going the right way now. Um, it's supposed to go um, counterclockwise. That's the direction that thing is supposed to be turning, and I, I had it going counterclock or um, clockwise. Yeah, it's supposed to be going counterclockwise. You, you know, it's reverse. It is like when you have when you plug it, but it's working good now. So I better go get the loader tracks and get some more bales. Get some of the net wrap off the bale so we can get some more ground here. Okay, yes, I'm still, I still have not gotten done grinding hay. All I got was that little pile of it. I've been working on this thing for the last two hours, two and a half hours or whatever. And I finally, actually, um, that little bit that I ground last time, it didn't take very long and a wad of, this hay is so dry, a wad went in there and it killed the tractor which it shouldn't have because it's dry hay, but it still killed it anyway, so it threw the chain off again. And so I went back up to the yard, put the chain back on, come back out here, and it was still was having trouble <laughs> with this. Um, now I got this auger, I cleaned it out, I got it down, and now this auger is up a little bit, but it's just tight, 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 because the belt over here, it keeps slipping, and obviously it's only down to one belt, so I don't want to break this belt but it keeps slipping here on this pulley so um well not that one but the, actually the other one so i figured out what the problem was there's another access door on this side and this stuff there's a whole bunch of you know crap there's dirt in the bottom and anyway there was very little stuff going through here you know just very little so what was happening and this is what i this is my theory as to what was happening was it was pu pushing all of the hay over to this auger so when a, a wad or dry stuff would go in this thing would fling up and then when it would fling up it would change the pitch of the the angle of the sprocket and so it would throw the chain off and there was like you know there was a little bit coming out of here but not much just a little tiny bit obviously there was more coming out this side 
So, that's what was going on with this thing. And I was ready to pull my hair out. So, I think this video today is going to be about... Uh, the title is going to be the trouble with the big haddock or something with the hay grinder. Something like that. I'll figure out a title. But, uh, that's, um, that's what's going on with this hay grinder. It's just... I'm going to get this cleaned out and then it should work fine uh, and I think one of these things we're going to get try to get some belts for this thing here too so we get two belts on here and uh, get it right but that's what was going on so I'm going to get that um, finish cleaning that out and hopefully it will work right because I am if it doesn't there's another guy that has a hay grinder that I know of. Another neighbor guy that lives a few miles from here. I thought about maybe we'll call him if, if this still doesn't work. And then we'll, we'll see if, if he, he could come over and grind some hay for us. Oh, ay ay ay. He's got to grind one more bale after this bale that I'm going to dump in here. And uh, then we're going to call it quits. Um, I did find out part of the problem is... One of the, uh, or the, one of those augers, the flighting, uh, there's, is up towards the front is, is kind of, is shot. And that's part of the reason why it's building up with crap and it's not carrying it out. So that auger, or the flighting on the auger is going to have to be replaced. So, I know some people are probably wondering why do we take off the net wrap? Well, um, it's just that not really good to grind that stuff and wraps up around the uh, it wraps up around the uh, hammers and stuff in there and you know that not only that but it's not really good for the cows to eat that stuff so especially being organic and wrap plastic is not good for the eaters so that's why we take it off I know the bales come apart a little bit we have to clean it up but you gotta do so oh crap there went the tractor killed over there I don't know why uh, maybe I won't get done grinding this hay today <laughs> I thought it was working <laughs> okay got it back working again for the umpteenth hundred hundredth time it's uh, working again <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ay, do I dare grind one more bale? I don't know I think I'm going to try to grind one more bale and then we're going to call it quits for today with this thing and uh, yeah well, I'll get back to you guys here when we get all done with everything for the day. just got done grinding the last bale. The bale was just basically done and at the last second a, uh, a wad of hay came up on that auger because like I said the flighting at the end of that auger is shot um, so it forced a bunch of hay to come over to this one and it jacked it up. Of course when it jacked it up what did it do? <laughs> it made the chain come off again because it changed the, the angle or the pitch of that of that one sprocket down there on the other side and boom yep so i'm gonna put that on and then we're gonna take this back to my cousin and um they could deal with it if they want but i guess i guess my cousin he didn't he ended up having enough hay for the day so he uh he wasn't so concerned about getting it back so 
at least for today anyway so but we're still going to take it back but um, yeah so anyways that's that so i'll get back with you put it like i said i'll get back with you here when everything's done and we'll finish it okay if dealing with that hay grinder no we did not take the hay grinder back we were trying to I put the chain back on and we were trying to clean the auger out and the chain came off again. So we're just going to leave that thing for today and call it good. But anyways, to top things off, my brother, he was shifting this thing. You're going to bring it up to the yard. He was loading up the feeder wagon for the young stock. And then the shifting lever that shifts the, uh, I don't know what range. It's not the, it's, it's, it's the range shifter. And, um. Yeah, so now uh, the, this piece, it broke off on here, so I just screwed it in here a little bit tighter. Um, so I think I'm going to have to redo this, but uh, I'm going to have to redo this thing because I can't get this thing. Um, yeah, I got to redo this. I got to take this thing back out of here. And... Um, I'll show you here quick I'm not trying to get this video so long here guys but anyways at the end of this rod here this bolt broke off yeah so yep just a bad day today <laughs> okay I'm goofing around this thing for about the last 15 minutes uh, we had to readjust it to make up get it just right to make up for the, the bolt here that broke off and I think I finally got it so just gotta put some cotter keys back in and put the shielding back on and we'll be back in business with this and then I gotta finish up that I guess I think my cousin he wants it back he called back a little while ago and so I don't know I just like to leave it but he wants it back so whatever Okay, everyone, uh, we're finally done with everything for today. Um, actually, the hay grinder is still here yet. And, um, yes, still here. Um, we just stuck some fuel in it. Um, we got the auger on the back basically situated right. Um, the chain is, uh, one of the links got bent, so we need to take one of the links off, put a half link in there, and put it back on. The chain will be fine. So, other than that, um, it's done here, so we're going to take it back, and, um, and, um, th tomorrow's another day, so, anyways, yeah. So, we did not get any feed ground today, but we didn't need to grind feed, so we'll have to grind a batch of feed tomorrow, Monday, so, yeah. So, anyways, today has been a really frustrating day. I got to eat something yet, and, um. Oh, just one of those frustrating Sundays where it's like, that hay grinder out there, that thing is shot. I mean, the tub is good, but there's a lot of stuff that's wore out. The flighting is, ugh, it's been to the mill. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go, I got to eat something. So um, anyways, um, ah. please like, rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And everybody, please take care. And I'll catch you later.